I clearly showed us how devastating wind can be even if you don't live in a high wind area. It often does the most damage where you might least expect it. 11 News reporter Sharon Min Chow takes a look at wind damage and the little known option for shoring up the weakest part of the building, the windows. In its fury, Ike rained glass onto downtown Houston. Windows picked clean from their frames in the Chase Tower. Not on the side facing the wind, but on the side sheltered from the wind. The wind tries to go around the structure, and as it does, it leaves a hole behind it. And that hole, you have vertices, you know, vortices and a lot of turbulence. So that turbulence, like a mini yep, tornado almost? And it causes the suction to pull the windows out. Oh, yeah. Today, windstorm engineer Darren Conrad does a little detective work for us. This is definitely not the work of roof gravel. First, there's none on the ground. Second, small windborne debris typically strikes 30 to 60 feet off the ground. The damage field is much larger here. This is pressure failure, amplified by surrounding buildings which channel an increased wind speed. You know, the tunneling effect. Wow, yeah. It picks up right here. And downtown Houston isn't even in a windborne debris region. Buildings that are must meet stricter building codes to qualify for state windstorm insurance. In Florida, a windstorm tunnel test is one of two options required for any new buildings in high wind areas. A full scale model is put to the test. At Chase Tower, replacing the contents and the windows will cost at least $5 million. Not to mention the damage on the street. Wow. <laughs> a solar charger took a hit. So what options are there to protect your business or your home? Labor-intensive plywood or shutters are the best-known options. And there is also security film. It's applied to the inside of existing windows. The goal to keep the opening, not the glass, intact. Once wind enters your house, it will look for a way out, often through the roof. This is a marketing clip showing a 2x4 launched into a treated window. Proper installation of the film is key. On a house, it's going to be probably under $10 a square foot. The only other options are impact glass and shutters, and those are going to cost between five and ten times more. Of course, the greater expense buys you greater protection if you can afford it. Yes, I saw the glass bend in. Sissy Farenthold is a veteran of yeah. political storms and named storms. She had the film put in 24 hours before landfall, then rode out Ike in her 18th floor condo near West University. The rain was horizontal, and the, the windows held, the door held, but the water came in underneath. Her neighbor below didn't fare quite as well. For those who live in high wind areas, stronger measures may well be preferable. But for the inland... If, if there were film on this, would they, you think, the likelihood they would have at least protected the contents? Of course, uh, I do, if they, would have, if they would have installed it correctly. The proper perspective? Not to keep the window picture perfect, but to keep the wind out. Sherman Chow, 11 News.